Finally, let's get back to Isaac. We can't watch the film. No. We don't know what it's about. The name sounds kind of like some kind of torture porn or something, but that's pretty much it. Oh, you're back already! That was fast. Hey, honey, looking for a date? <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. Especially not in the same night. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee, no. Oh, uh, we're looking for the reviewer. Tommy Flayton. Where's Tommy Flayton? Is it this guy? More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? Is the place open right now? You can hear some crowd noises in the back. I just wanted to- <laughs> Wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Okay, Mr. Important. Just exactly who are you to feel you have so much power? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Oh, I just, I just love your work. Always good to meet a fan. Can I sign a napkin or something for you? Isn't it in your best interest to pan this place? You've got a reputation to keep. How so? Food is bad. I mean, it's bad. You're wasting my time. What? Fine, bye. Maybe we gotta say uh, there's a health violation here. Oh, hey, waiter. I asked for a Cabernet Sauvignon, not a Merlot. Next thing you know, he'll be bringing sparkling grape juice. Ugh. Cause I guess uh, he knows about food. I don't. So if I tell him, hey, the food's bad, he's not really gonna listen to me because he's the expert. But if we say a chef is not washing his hands, maybe that'll be the right one. I'm not the waiter, but you're just the man I wanted to talk to. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. How so? Pan the place. I saw a chef in the bathroom. He didn't even look at the sink. <gasps> this place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. <sighs> Give him hell, Tommy. Bye. <laughs> yes. I'm going to write a review that will destroy this restaurant. Good, good. I'll be leaving now that my work is done. Good night. Okay. Now will LaCroix talk to me? Better check your email sometime soon. Okay. More the reason to go back to our apartment. Isaac, finally. A lot of distractions. Thank you. This guy... Looks like a Sabat guy back at the warehouse. Oh, I love this view. I love it. And us watching it through a kind of um, chain fence is very... Feels like I'm a prisoner. Hey, Isaac. You still don't have it, do you? He didn't have it. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? Said his life was in danger. Turned out he was right. You didn't. No. Before he died, he was saying something about ginger swans. Ginger swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. I just suddenly thought about this, but do we age after we become a vampire? Because this guy, he looks like he's middle aged right now. Does that mean that he was turned when he was in his middle ages? Or did he age to become older? Because if you get turned when you're younger, then do you permanently stay young? That could be a good and bad thing. Good thing being you're eternally young, but bad thing is people might look at you and not take you seriously. 
Anyway, why do we gotta go meet her? I have the tape already. Oh, you're telling me- Oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> where do I go find her? That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. 20 years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. Her grave. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. You still don't have it, do you? All this for a tape? They have this thing called online shopping now. I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape... I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Oh. What is that? Ooh. Death Mask Productions. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? Are you concerned from a masquerade code perspective? I was sick. Why the hell did I need to see that? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. So, you're saying you actually can't help me... at all? If you think you can find them without my assistance, the door is over there. I might be able to. Alright, so you think this tape has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. I like how all the quests in Hollywood right now seem to be entertainment themed. It's kind of cool. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. It's gonna help us anyway. Where do we find a better copy? Behind the spit shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Flynn? <sighs> Before I start looking, I had a few questions. Certainly. Tell me about yourself. In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. Are you officially dead? Are you allowed to be seen in public? Hmm... I'm in... Can I be in a movie? <laughs> Unless you're the most spectacular actor I've never heard of, your look would be a tough sell. Ouch. But don't take it too hard. Once you're dead, there's no such thing as good publicity. My starving artist curse. Appearance can't go above four. <laughs> Who's your favorite person you worked with? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Wait, you made a actor your child? Ash? Ash, where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. Oh, Ash Rivers. Yeah, we learned from the computer that he worked on Negative Zero. Go on. Oh, so he's a, he's a vampire then. Oh! Remember back in the very, very, very beginning on the TV, it said he got into an accident, and then the reporter was saying something like, Oh, it's really weird that he made it out unscathed and unharmed. 
And I remember saying something like, hey, uh, maybe that guy's a vampire. Turns out he actually is. Go on. I hadn't seen anything like him since Clift or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, allure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. How? Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. But how can he continue to be an actor? You said 70 years ago. A person can't be eternally young for 70 years, normally. What were you thinking? Didn't you think of the consequences? I... didn't. I acted on impulse. I'd seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. Wow, that sounds incredibly selfish. But nice to know that even a Baron can be so... fallible. So what happened? It devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Does he hate you? He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire and he is my child, and there is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond, even if we are no longer the friends we were. Do you regret doing that then? You saved him because you had a bond with him, because you don't want him to go so soon, because he's talented. But now he's lost all of that, but he still has his life. Or does he? Kind of. Kind of. Was it worth it? Where can I find Ash? He spends nearly all of his nights in his club, the Asp Hole. I am, I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. Hmm. Maybe I'll head over there sometime. I had some other questions. Certainly. What can you tell me about the Nosferatu? The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. And we don't know where they are. We can't find them properly. Had another question. Certainly. Anything else I can do in the city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Yeah, tell me about this gargoyle. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. A real gargoyle. We read a book that mentioned that gargoyles are like familiars of Tremere's. Are they always familiars of Tremere's? Or is it wild? I'm interested, but how exactly does one deal with a gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can talk to it. Who knows? Maybe nobody tried understanding it, and it really wants someone to talk to it. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Certainly. I'll come back later. Okay, we have a lot going on again. We gotta take care of a gargoyle in the Asian theater. Yes, we picked up a book at, about gargoyles at the Tremere Chantry. Maybe we should talk to Strauss about it. Yes, yes, yeah, that's the book. And we want the film, the full version. We should talk to probably... Flynn. Okay, all right. Let's go to Flynn first, and then we'll go take the taxi back to Santa Monica. Uh, yeah, you'll- Whoa! I'm sorry. <laughs> Better watch where I'm going. Wouldn't want to attract more attention than usual. 
you know, for a game made in 2004, I feel like obviously Hollywood should be more populated than this, but it's not so bad. Looking around, there's actually quite a good number of people walking around on the streets. Huh. Anyway, that triple X place was where? Oh, there's a taxi, but no, not yet. The triple X place was... around the corner. Lynn? What can I do to you, honey? Can you not put it like that? Got a few questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? You ever heard of Death Mass Productions? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Hmm. Should I be... upfront? I might be in the market for some of their products. Really? You a cop? Do I look like a cop? 5-0? Why is a cop called 5-0? Is that some American thing? Huh. Do I look like 5-0 to you? I'm just trying to get some information. Alright, listen. I'll tell you a little bit, but if anyone comes asking, you never heard it from me. They produce only the most hardcore video. I'm not even talking black market here, more like black hole market. Not the kind of product you want to get mixed up in. Like, today's equivalent would be some kind of dark web stuff? Huh, yeah, what kind of stuff? The kind of stuff that gets you put in jail for just talking about it, alright? Snuff films is just the tip of the iceberg. I only seen one of their videos, and I swear I couldn't eat for a week. Really? Is the stuff in their videos even real? Real enough that every cop in five states has been trying to track these guys down. They are bad news, pal. You want some advice from me? Stop thinking whatever you're thinking and get your ass back to Kansas. So that film is some kind of torture porn then, I guess. Hmm. Look, Flynn, I need to find these guys. Where are they? Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Look, I'm a collector. You can tell me what you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress or some creepy shit like that. Yeah? And then what? And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly, you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Hmm. Thanks for the info. Don't walk home alone tonight. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. I guess aside from being scared about the film from a, hey, the masquerade code perspective, it's also generally just really scary that someone's making films about people dying and getting tortured. And you know, the whole part about the monsters, the non-human monsters. <sighs> I wish I could, Flynn, but I'm in good now. Later. If they're just the distributors, if we get them, it's not really going to be the end of it. Matter cold, matter cola, matter cold, <laughs> Nisa's. All right. The payphone down the street is that nearby? Should we go do it right now? Payphone. Oh, maybe where um Samantha was. That's the only payphone I can remember. I think it was back over by this side. Speaking with Samantha, she just kind of disappeared on me, and that was it. <laughs> People keep glitching out around that door for some reason. Do I call it? Secret message. One of the payphones down the street by Red Spot. Okay, might as well, I guess. No? No? Oh, the Red Spot. Hold on. The red spot, that's the cafe, so was there another set of payphones down here? Oh, 
Over there. Ooh, this one doesn't even have a cable. Hello? The moon is a mysterious mistress. Who walks the night with demons of dread. The Lucky Star Motel. Room 2. Don't be long. I'll be there. Hmm. This should officially be the main quest, right? So I kind of wonder if we should be going so fast on it, but... We're already in it. Just like what we told Flynn. We're deep into this. We gotta keep going. Night eating you? No. Okay, room number two. I don't think we have a key or anything, so maybe the door's just been unlocked now. And which one is number two anyway? I don't even think we know that. Oh, five. Six. Three. Two. Internet cafe key? Okay, yeah. These people are pretty careful. They wouldn't just randomly show up and have a person be like, hey, here's the goods. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's actually... That's a little bit disturbing. There was no one waiting for you at the Hollywood Lucky Star Motel, but you did find a key to the internet cafe. To the back? I thought the back led outside. Maybe not. Hey dude, you wanna clean up the room? Night eating you? I guess not. Hmm. We're in for some kind of like a, hey, put the cash in the garbage can at the park kind of exchange. If they're that careful, we're not really gonna see the people. Internet cafe? Probably they're already monitoring me right now, watching my every move. Y'all waiting? Oh, did we ever go into the... No, I think we did. Right, okay. Is someone in here today, or...? Hi, how may I help you? People are gone. Oh! Why can't I look at it like that? I'm not sure. Anyway... Hey, what is that sound? Oh! They wanted me. They wanted me to help film one of their new films. What was that? Oh! Oh my god! This is not internet cafe behavior. What the hell is going on here? Come on. Uh-huh. Any more? It's the same creatures again, although I'm not really sure what the hell these are. Hey, it's Teresa in Jeanette's bed. Okay, that girl got killed. That's not so good. What's going on here? The Internet Cafe! All girls must sign in. No new chat without money. Oh, I thought those were gashes on her back. Oh. Different sets? These sets seem pretty tame, not really like what we saw in the video. Hmm. Ew, this is- this is trashy. <laughs> Garbage can location shoot? Yeah, there's just a bunch of weird sets around here. Oh. Seriously? 
Hmm. Pretty depraved. But, you know, some people are into that kind of thing. And as far as we see here, normally, this should just be some kind of a studio. Not that surprising, but... Hey, where'd this guy come from? Was he always here? I didn't notice him. Oh. The bigger problem is the... the monsters. Okay. Some strange fetishes here. No. Hmm... Whoa. I don't think they ever... They probably get the police trying to contact them pretty often. That phone booth thing probably wasn't even the end of it. Well, great. Great. It's gone! It's gone already. Oh! It's not! It's not! What is it? It's got like two hands. Ugh. Holy crap. Seeing that in first person scared the crap out of me. That was like a head grab. Ten! Ten, but it's okay because we can go through the window, right? No? Oh shoot, there's another one. Hey, open the windows more. Uh, there's a vent there. Maybe we gotta go around? I'm pretty sure we can't do lockpicking 10, even if I do blood buff. Yeah... Security? Oh, what about my security book? Would now be a good time to, um, read it? Probably. Okay, cool. Hell oh, yeah, hey, hey, blood points. Awesome. Uh, use it right now. We can't use like half of it, right? Okay, good, it's back. Finance too? Should I put it into finance? Finance is for haggling, right? I don't really... It's not something active that we do, so it's not really obvious what the effects are. Anyway, lockpicking six. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can... Yeah. One more point. Uh, apparently if I wait too long, it's not good, so I just took it, but uh, maybe I could have waited one more point. I'm not sure. I didn't want to chance it, though. The other one for lockpicking would be dexterity. 12 points. Yeah, this one would be good now, because this one also increases sneaking. Anyway, my point is we can't get into this room right now, no matter what. DMP. Okay. Alright. Maybe like celerity here. Okay, this part's looking a lot more dodgy. Are there more? Auspex helps me pick out where they are. It's nice. Oh, I really hope all of that wasn't real blood, but I have doubts. Ooh, shoot, man. What are those? They're like heads and arms. They don't have a body. Oh, Jesus, man, what the, what the fuck is going on up there? Dead, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, God. Shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't make any noise. They'll, they'll hear us. Who are you? You were for the DMP? Yeah, yeah, I uh, mean, uh, no, no, uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'm with DMP, you 5 0. What the hell's going on? Those are the same creatures on your tape. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but, but we didn't make that shit. I mean, one of the guys stole it, found it in the creepy house in the hills. We just copied it and put our names on it. Worse than anything we ever did, worst thing I ever saw. Yeah, what goes on down here? Parcheesi? Some of it. Yeah, it, it was it was bad, but you know, no one ever really mattered. J junkies, runaways, most mostly doing them a favor. Hmm. 
That's a pretty dismal view of humanity. Oh! Holy! I didn't even get to ask him where the mansion is! We probably wouldn't have gotten the chance anyway. Yeah, that's probably their normal kind of stuff, which is still pretty bad, but probably not killing people kind of bad. Ah. Oh. Now we're in. Another tape. Complete horror tape. I guess we really did get it after all, but... In a really roundabout and not cool way. Biller Light Beer. It's good for you. Okay. I feel like we should probably report this to somebody, but we're at an internet cafe right now. Somehow. Somehow, we've gone up and down, up and down, and somehow we're s <laughs> Enough of that. I've had enough of you people. They roll around! That's how they normally walk. Ew. It's gross. I'm not even sure if they really intended to do the exchange of the film here. Okay, everybody's gone. They probably heard the noise around here. Am I gonna get arrested if I stay here? Probably. Let's go, let's go. It was already like this when I got here. Oh, I didn't do anything. Don't look at me like that. We can give it to Isaac right now, but why don't we go back to... Santa Monica. Oh no, downtown. Downtown for the gargoyle. Going somewhere. But we also have to go back to Santa Monica for Brother Salvage, the mud hunt thing. And it might also be a good time for us to go check back on maybe LaCroix. We did his reviewers thing, but he might not be receptive to seeing me still until I find the Nosferatu. Because the quest did say, hey, go check your email, not go to LaCroix. Sorry, no one's loud up right now. Oh, thank you for standing up for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. We can go check on Strauss, and we can also go back home. Maybe deposit some of our stuff, if that's okay. Strauss would be... Oh, I always forget which way we're supposed to go. This way, I guess. And if we can... No one's looking, right? Just a sip, boy. Just a sip. A very small sip. It's not like you're basically dead now. No. Whenever I do that, I feel like those people probably have to go to the hospital later. I drank nine-tenths of their blood. That can't be a good thing. By the way. Baby girl, you know I got what you need. Shopping. Can I sell my knife and then pick up the one at the apartment? <laughs> Would that be a thing? I kind of want to keep the weapons just because I want to. I mean, money's not even really an issue anyway. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because the security guard back at the apartment dropped the knife, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then money. Money back at the club. We have so much money, but I don't even know what to do with it. Should I just buy some weapons just because we can? Hey. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another ward for you. Oh, I'm a little bit too eager. I don't see enough sitting out there. <laughs> sitting at a church. How exciting. Somebody's probably into that kind of thing. I suggest maybe the waiters and stuff. Maybe they can dress up as nuns or something. That's probably somebody's thing. Yeah, and then have this sort of poster in there. The Reckoning. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'll use this knife and remember you, security guard. 
I'll... I'll continue on my good vampiric fight in your honor. Something like that. Even though you were the one that shot at me to begin with, I remember all those nights ago, before I even moved in. But you had it coming, you had it coming. You were peeping on the people here. I live here now, so I can't have you peeping on me like that. Heather? Hey, where's Heather? Oh, hey. Master? Uh, I don't really want you to... I kind of want to test it just to see what would happen, but it feels very like... I don't mind how you look right now. But no, we gotta do it. We gotta do it for science. About your appearance, change it. Okay. <laughs> when I get back, I hope I'm in for a pleasant surprise. Okay, I gotta leave and come back. Yeah, this box here. It's empty now, which means I can put stuff in here. Like... The photo, I guess? Why did I... This is the photo that we got from Stanley... Or Simon Milligan. But what do we do with it? There hasn't been a use. Yeah, there we go. And then the driver's license of the Toreador. Patty's Toreador. Do we need this? I'm guessing not. The rest we keep. And then this stuff here, drug box, the book... Oh! We have the gargoyle book with us right here! That's where we read it from. I never managed to read it because I'm not a Tremere. Right. Well, we probably don't need this right now, because we're gonna go talk to Strauss anyway. Business card? I don't think so. Bloodstar? These things we want to keep in the inventory. Yeah? Finance too. Uh, I should probably do my points again. Brother Salvage. Research 8. Yeah, maybe I should go do it right now. Oh, I could have sold this earlier, but I didn't. And then for the weapons here. Let's put away my fists. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I'll put away this stuff. Yeah. And then, of all of my weapons right now, basically the only one I'm gonna use is a fire axe, right? So probably the rest of this can just go in here. This one we probably... Oh, we can't put it in. No. Because this one does give a minus one to dexterity. What does that affect stats-wise? I'm not sure. Dexterity? Oh, lockpicking and sneaking. We're not as sneaky, but the, the lockpicking is actually... It could be important because that's one level difference, right? Like if I... If I take it off right now. Then that would mean that... Yeah, I've got three points now. I had two earlier. Lockpicking, seven. Okay. And sneaking. So if I want to be sneaky, then maybe I do want to switch up my outfits just in case. Or if I want to lockpick a little bit more. Okay, good to know, good to know. We have 13 points here, holy crap, let's do some of this. Um... We need Research 8 for that one book. I'm kind of curious about it because it has a different cover. Scholarship? Or... Intelligence. Okay, Scholarship is more expensive, but it also gives me Persuasion, whereas Wits... Or, uh, intelligence. Intelligence gives me Intimidate, which I don't think I need. So I feel like maybe this is a better bet. Yeah. Pretty expensive though, but you know. We gotta do what we gotta do. And then after that, maybe we can do... Well, we have to. Intelligence, 8 points. We have to do this one if we want to get research, 8. Okay. Sure. Pretty pricey, but okay. And that... And then... Anything else I'm looking for here? Oh! Email. You wanna use a computer? You can. Yeah, you can. One unread. One R unread. Tommy Flayton's review. I recently read Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Cavaletti Cafe in the sun. And I must tell you that I am extremely happy 
With his conclusions, you have done well. Please accept the payment I've left you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. SL. Okay, maybe I'll see you when you feel like seeing people again. Master? I'll return later. Do you ever get bored just staying around the house? Well, no, we know she goes out because uh, earlier she was telling me that, hey, well, that's how she got somebody to come back to my bathroom because she was outside and then she kidnapped a random person. Jeez. <laughs> So we got two experience points from the um, food critic. And then here, $100, thank you. What am I gonna do with all this money? I don't even know. Buy nice new clothing. Well, that's pretty much it. And then, oh, LaCroix sent me a reward. Yay. And then uh, Tremere, Strauss. Back at the Chantry. <laughs> One quick sip. Thank you. Oh, what? <coughs> oh, you're joking me! This guy still has the plague? What? Ow! Dude, go see the hospital! Go to the hospital! Go to the medical clinic! Something! I say that, but I know we don't even have a freaking hospital in this town. We do have one, but it's like this building right here. It's freaking torn down already. Oh my god. I thought the plague was over, but no, it's not. There's too many people here for me to drink anybody. Here we go. You guys are still stuck? Oh my goodness. I wish I could help, but I can't. Strauss! I've come for your guidance once again. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes? Of course. I have a question for you about gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? It seems that one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. I have some questions. What can I tell you about them? What is a gargoyle? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful and not to be trifled with. The Tremere created them? Yes. We used our extensive knowledge of blood magics to create a race of protectors. They served that purpose well, but they have also caused many problems. It's a complicated issue. I feel like the whole existence of the Tremere clan is a complicated issue. Just how complicated? Well. Many gargoyles still serve the Tremere Masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. Oh. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Sounds like you have some personal experiences in this matter, Max. <sighs> yeah. I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. It's his gargoyle. Oh, gargoyles also need to meet final death? They don't die easy? What? Your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? 
His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of Lacroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I don't really care about the Camarilla, but I do want to remain on Strauss's good side. He's been good to me. Completely. I will tell no one of your secret. I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Good to hear. Now, what do I need to do? Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Okay. But how do I, like, not kill it? Thanks. But how do I best fight the gargoyle? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Do I have to kill it? I guess Strauss wants me to kill him too because he was mentioning that, oh, I was hoping he would meet his final death. <sighs> That's great. A few more questions about gargoyles. What can I tell you about them? You told me everything already, yeah? With much difficulty. Okay, one more thing. Of course. Uh, I'm out of here. See ya. Well, thank you very much, but I was hoping that we wouldn't have to fight him. Yeah, it just says take care of. Maybe we can talk to him? Because it does sound like gargoyles are sentient. But... Are we gonna be able to convince him to leave? Easily? Maybe that's a different matter. I didn't see the Asian theater in Hollywood yet, though. I don't even know where it is, but I'm sure we'll be able to find it once we get back. Oh! <laughs> I always forget. We gotta go a very specific way. 